Hello, 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 hello. This is Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking. Uh, coming at you from my laundry room. It's laundry day. Uh, what most truckers do on the weekends, if they're at the truck stop, uh, you go in there, especially, I like to utilize the TA or the petrol because they have the most, they have more washers and dryers when I was out there. Anyway, this is laundry day. I decided to get it done early. Usually it's on Sunday. Uh, I decided to get it done uh, early. Uh, go ahead and just wash it up. Uh, but uh, this video is going to be detailing the other video where I posted where I was just highly upset. And uh, it was about the disrespect of someone commenting saying I was ignorant. Uh, uh, I don't even know where it came from. You know, first thing in the morning, I'm just getting up, roll over, get the phone, click on. I see, you know, little, little icons, the comments to my YouTube page. And that's the only one on there. You're an idiot. Who the fuck is you to tell me I'm an idiot? And But I didn't get a chance to go into detail because I was so heated and fired up. I just wanted to get that video out because I'm tired of those posts. I'm tired of it. Ain't nobody posting no video for you to make them kind of comments. They posting, I'm posting videos of stuff that happened to me. This is real shit. This is happening to me. Some of it I can make, it's funny. Some of it I can make a video, just, just general talk. But the, when it's something real happened to me, I post it. But that, that's not for you to get on here with the disrespect. I mean, who do you think you is? Who do who, who you think you're talking to? First of all, who do you think you're talking to? Calling somebody an idiot. And let me tell you about these uh, comments. Yeah, and I've been noticing it. This one, I call it a ghost comment. And what a ghost comment is, that's a comment to where it appears on your phone like they responding to your YouTube. It's some, it usually some nasty fucking ass comment to piss you off and shit. And then when you click on it to respond, it, it, it don't come up in anybody, it don't come up nowhere. It just like disappear. You scrolling through, you see all these other comments that's in a list. There's, there's like if you got four comments on there, you see all the four comments, but you don't see it. This, this, I call it a ghost comment. Let me tell you what I believe those comments are, where they're coming from. I believe they are law enforcement. And I believe it's someone that's called itself setting you up for entrapment. Because the comments don't never appear with everybody else's comments. When I click on it, they're just not there anymore. But when you go back to the little icon up top where it shows how many comments you got, it, it appears there. But when you click on it, 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 it don't appear for you to respond, to say nothing back. I call that a ghost comment. And beware of those comments. That is somebody that is setting you up for something, setting you up to respond. And, and I, I call it entrapment. And I want to say it's law enforcement. The only motherfuckers I know that make a ghost comment like that. And that ain't no that ain't no YouTuber. That ain't me. Cause when I post a comment, everybody see the comment, they can respond to the comment. If you post a comment, everybody see the comment, you can respond to that comment. But if it's if it's somebody in law enforcement or somebody trying to set up some type of entrapment, you will see the comment, but if you try to respond to it, it's like a ghost comment. And sometimes they let you respond to it. So I call that the entrapment comment because whoever this motherfucker was that put it on there it tried to get me upset by calling me an idiot and let me go into detail of why what video they were responding to it was the one about DOT bus uh, when they said they called when I posted a video about they called the police on me because I didn't want to wear a mask and I made a video verbalizing that motherfucker that called me an idiot to let them know you don't know what you talking about when you calling somebody an idiot, you just wake up or look at somebody's video and decide you want to post some idiot, idiotic, nasty ass motherfucking comment for no damn reason. Well, where did you get idiot from off of looking at the DOT, the, the video? Didn't I say in the video I wasn't aware of a federal mandate? Idiot? Didn't I say that? I kept asking, where's the federal mandate? They just telling me this. See, this, this is what they do. They like to tell people shit and then make you do it, make you believe it. But they don't never have the, the, the literature, the verbiage, the, the, the legal shit for you to see it. So let me explain 
why I said this whole thing was stupid with what DOT did. And we, we I wanted to respond because I'm going to go the fuck off on, on this commenter. Because if you respond, and I'm going to just put it on out there. You respond with a stupid comment to me, you're going to get a reply back. And that reply, you're not going to like. But if you're a ghost commenter, I already peeped you out. you a coward commenter. I, the ghost commenter is a coward commenter. And then what, 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 what is a coward commenter? That's a commenter that like to post stupid shit to piss you off some ignorant, nasty fucking shit they ain't got no business saying. Then you can't respond to it because they can't take the response. They, they, they ain't going to be able to handle what the fuck you say to their ass. To that comment. That's why I call him a coward commenter. You a coward. You a coward ghost commenter. You a talk to shit, but you can't take the response from your shit. You a coward commenter. I don't like coward commenters. I don't like the disrespectful ass commenters. This is shit that happened to me. Did not say in the video for those who watched it. Did not say I wasn't aware of federal mandate. Far as I knew, the buses were regulated by the state. I used to drive the bus. Far as I know, the bus is regulated by the state. And according to the most passengers, the, they, they saying the same shit. Far as we know, the bus was regulated by the state. So, let me tell you why this whole thing is stupid. And why I say they just tell you shit and you just supposed to start doing it. That's that controlling shit. That's the government controlling you. The state mandate ended. On the, I believe it was the 22nd. I got up to go to work that day, feeling happy, knowing you ain't got to wear no mask no damn more. I rode the bus to work, mask free. Rode the bus from work up to Van Dyke, mask free. Until that driver pulled up. And that driver, I don't too much care for. I don't like him as a DOT driver. I don't like his standards as a driver. Because I've watched that driver leave people for no fucking reason. This is before the mass restrictions were lifted. Just for no reason. Be at the door. They reaching for their coat. Could not be ready at the bus stop. Could be walking to the bus stop. You see them. A bus driver's job is to pick up passengers. It's not to leave a passenger. It's not to get frustrated because they're not there. Or don't have the money out. Ain't ready. But they're a passenger. A bus driver's job is to look for oncoming passengers from crossroad buses. Buses you crossing. You know buses you cross because that's your route. That's the bus driver's job, to be on the lookout. You see a passenger running. How dare you as a bus driver pull the fuck off? You see them. You just, DOT don't. They just in their head, they ain't at the bus stop. They gone. That's what they fucking do. I don't. I see a pastor. You supposed to be trained to know your passengers. Where they at, what to look for, and to wait and pick up your passengers. But they don't do that. That's why this system is failing, is horrible. And I can't stand it. They have lost their ridership. Everybody is getting off the bus. They riding bikes, scooters, putting their money together, getting little cars and all this shit because they don't want to be bothered with the DOT bus system anymore. You want to know why? Because you're dealing with a bus system. Where they do. When you're dealing with people don't give a fuck, and we all have dealt with people in agencies that don't give a fuck. You can complain to them all day. And she go in this ear, then out the other. That's where DOT is. They don't give a fuck. They give you the impression that they do. When you call in to complain, or they take your complaint, make it sound legal and like they're doing their job business like. The bus driver may straighten up for a couple days, then they back to the old shit. That's that don't give a fuck attitude. But to that commenter, they call me an idiot. See, when you call somebody an idiot, you better have some type of uh, 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 reason why. 
You don't just write somebody an idiot. And you ain't got no reason why. That shows your ignorance. That shows you're not fully educated. You don't see if I if, if I say something about somebody like that or in that long line of that, I'm a, you're gonna have a full detail why. I always do that. I don't say something and don't give you the damn details why I'm saying it. If it's a neck and then there's something negative about you. I don't do that. You wanna know why? Because I'm highly educated. Highly educated. I'm not stupid. I may not be in law, but I know law. I know what you ain't supposed to be doing. I know what I ain't supposed to be doing. I know what I can and can't do. What bus drivers can and can't do. What's right, what's wrong. I know the, what's the difference between right and wrong. I'm not stupid. I'm not an idiot. I'm 50 years old. How old are you, commenter, calling somebody an idiot? Because you're an idiot. You watched that video, and the only sentence you could form was, you're an idiot. Them the only words came to your fucking mind. You, why am I an idiot? And then, on top of that, you had to be a ghost commenter. So, that let me know that was some type of entrapment comment. See, they had throw these little comments on it. You got to be on the lookout for that. Because they, they do that. Law enforcement do peruse social media. They pretend they somebody and make a comment to get you to comment. So you got to be on the lookout for that. So I'm assuming this is somebody in law enforcement because when I clicked on it, it's like a ghost comment. It didn't appear nowhere for me to comment. And I don't like that shit. Perusing social media, trying to entrap somebody for what? You want to get me upset to see what I'm going to say. For what? But this next commenter, after I posted that video, the name is Ali Aklani. So we can tell by the name what race you are. Let me tell you something. I don't tolerate any disrespect from any race. I ain't disrespecting nobody. I'm telling shit that's happening to me. Make it funny videos. Make it serious videos. I make angry videos. I make all kind of videos. I ain't disrespecting nobody, but I'm not gonna let you or another race get on my YouTube page and disrespect me with your ignorant comments. So after I posted that video, this commenter had the nerve to get on my YouTube page and make a comment that, don't worry, she's an idiot, but uh, she was born an idiot. That commenter is an idiot. For even saying that. And again, this is a ghost commenter. This is a commenter that when I clicked on it, there's no way to respond. You see what they're saying, but they don't show up in the list of other commenters under that video. So you're a ghost commenter. So, and by the name Ali Aklani, I'm assuming this is somebody setting up some entrapment. Because it's a foreign name saying something stupid and nasty and wanted me to respond to it. Beware of the entrapment. Because law enforcement to do that, they'll pretend they're somebody and get on your social media site, make up a name. And this is a foreign name. I guess you thought I was going to say something all stupid because of the name. No, I'm going to get stupid now because that person with that name got stupid with me. Don't get on my YouTube page and disrespect me. I don't care what race you are. You're not going to disrespect me. You better watch what the fuck you say. And you better watch how the fuck you say it. Don't get on my page talking that dirty, nasty ass shit. Comment to my videos. I don't know who you think you're dealing with or who you think you're talking to. I'm going to tell you for the last time, I don't tolerate that disrespect from any race. You're not going to disrespect me because if you do, I have no problem getting in your ass and going the fuck off on you. You're not going to disrespect me on my motherfucking page. I hope we got that clear, Ali Aklani. I said, I'm going to call your name out because you're a ghost commenter. You a coward. You don't want nobody. You can talk that shit, but you can't take the heat from that shit. What, you don't want me to go off on you on your page so everybody else can read the shit? Well, I'm saying it in a video, Ali Agnani. I'm going to fuck off on you right now in a fucking video and throwing your name out there because you was stupid. Talking about somebody born an idiot. Show me a birth certificate where it's checkbox born an idiot. Because you're an idiot. That's all you can come up with from watching a video? She was born an idiot? You was stupid. You're uneducated. 
You can't form an a, a, a educated opinion. You post stupid shit, and then you post it as a ghost commenter. Why? Because you're a coward. You can talk your shit, but you can't handle response from the shit. Because when I go off on you, I'm going to go off clean, and you ain't going to like it. I'm going to cut into your ass like a knife. I don't tolerate the disrespect from any race. Don't get on my YouTube page watching these videos and talking that disrespectful ass motherfucking shit. I don't give a fuck who you is. I'm grown. I'm posting videos of shit that happened to me. You can either like the video or don't like the video. You can comment, say, some, damn, that was some foul shit. And it was. Because far as I'm concerned, the bus been running under state mandate, governor's orders, since that shit happened, the pandemic. We got on the bus, told we were wearing masks because the governor ordered it. That's state. But now when the state mandate ended, all of a sudden they flipped the script and said the bus system is under federal mandate. What federal mandate? I still haven't found a federal mandate. When does the federal mandate end? What does the federal mandate say? Why is the city bus that's for the citizens of Detroit and the riders of the state that comes in and comes to Detroit and rides the bus in Detroit? Under a federal mask mandate. The state has ended the mask mandate. Let me show you how stupid this is. See, when that state mask mandate ended, it shouldn't have been no federal mask mandate. Let me show you. Let me tell you this. If the bus was under a federal mandate under the whole time, you should have been stating that the whole time. When I got on the bus when that pandemic started, they said you're under governor's orders. Six feet distancing with limited capacity. Governor's orders. That's what they were saying. At no time had anybody mentioned anything about a federal order. See, this is why I tell you, people like to tell you shit and then get you to do it, get you to believe it. I ain't seen the federal mandate yet. It probably is one, but I ain't seen it. Okay, post the shit on the bus. If you had it posted on the bus, I wouldn't have had no problem. I was like, okay, officer, I put the mask on. I didn't know anything about a federal mandate. As far as I'm concerned, it, the state mandate ended. And as far as I'm concerned, when I rolled to work that day, it had ended. When I got off, what happened, I don't know. I put get on the first bus that got everybody on masks. I'm looking at my wife, I got masks on. And this driver sitting up here verbally telling me about some federal mandate. You don't verbally tell a federal mandate. You don't verbally tell a federal mandate. You're supposed to have that shit posted on your bus. Because any, if any legal complications arise from that shit, an altercation or anything, you can be liable because you don't have... The mandate posted on your bus. I don't want to see no words under federal mandate until a further notice. Where's the federal mandate ordering us to wear the mask? I want to read the order telling us to wear a mask. You don't have that. I ain't found that. So far as I'm concerned, you're just telling me shit. And I don't understand why we're in a federal mandate. This bus doesn't cross state lines. This bus operates within the city of Detroit that is now under lifted mask restrictions. Nobody has to wear a mask except on the bus. How stupid is that? When the bus pull up, you see the passengers with no mask on. Some have them on, some don't. You've given the bus drivers another reason to leave passengers, to continue to leave passengers, get an altercation because of a federal mandate. The bus system has already lost their ridership. People are tired of the bus being late. They're tired of the bus not showing up. They're tired of standing at the bus stop for hours because you claim you got a driver shortage. Why you got a driver shortage? It's because you let your drivers do whatever they want to. You need to put your foot down. It's like the rest of these businesses. They got to hold raffles and give away prizes to get people to come back to work. Ain't that uh, some shit? You got the whole raffles, give away fifty thousand, a million dollars. Oh, that, that, that that's a, that's what they got going on with the vaccine. To take the vaccine, you win fifty thousand. Uh, I think one prize is a million and two million dollars. To take the vaccine. Wow, what what good use could that money have went to instead of giving it to somebody that's taking a fucking vaccine shot? Maybe you could have helped somebody that's behind in the rent because of the pandemic. Need some assistance because of the pandemic. They holding a raffle for people who they 
take the vaccine, you can win money. $50,000 because you took the... How many people that took the goddamn vaccine? You ain't got $50,000. You, you weren't entered in no raffle to win no money to take the vaccine. What good use could that money went to? See, I need to run for mayor here. I do. I need to be run for some type of political position here. Mayor would be good. Because I'm in tune with the citizens of Detroit. I don't cater to big businesses. I don't uh, uh, let money, big money, direct my decisions and forget about the citizens and people of Detroit. I should, I need to run for a political position here. Mayor, hell, I could be governor. I know what, I, I'm in tune with the citizens. I got everything somebody in political, a political position has. I got scandal. See, and this is what you should have before you take office. I got the Chrysler scandal, uh, backstabbing, talked about, debt, accused, har uh, harassed, accused of harassment, targeted by law enforcement. Targeted by gang stalking. You know, I got all the makings of a good political figure before I'm in office. I didn't had all this shit happen to me. I know what to look for. See, I'm a person that would take office. And, and if somebody come to me with a complaint and it's, and it's legit and I think it's legit, hey, investigate that. Find out some truth to that. Not who we got in political. You know how long I've been complaining about what Warren Truck did to me? They swept that shit under the rug. You want to know why? They big business. It's major auto manufacturer here. One of the big three. They don't want that scandalous shit to get out. What newsworthy? Just like the Black Wall Street. Think speaking about newsworthy. The Black Wall Street that Hot Sam's gave uh, it was last Saturday uh, to commemorate their 100 years and uh, they decided to come up with a theme, Black Wall Street, in honor of uh, what happened over Tulsa, Oklahoma. That wasn't newsworthy. Did any channel news come down there to, to, to do a story on the black vendors that was down there? No. If you saw about it, heard about it, you was either there or you watched my video or anybody else that did a video. It's amazing what stories aren't newsworthy. This is about blacks doing good, celebrating ownership, black vendors, doing the damn thing. It wasn't newsworthy. Wasn't no news there. Hmm, wonder why. Hey, the radio station, W, uh, the radio station uh, thanking me because I was recording them. The news wasn't there. Wasn't newsworthy. But a lost dog is newsworthy. That shit happened to me at Chrysler. Wasn't newsworthy. The stuff that's going on with the DOT bus. Not newsworthy. And then months later, you will see a news story. And I, that, like that unemployment shit. That scam shit I was complaining about. But newsworthy. But now all of a sudden you got a news story about it's being investigated. I was telling you the whole time something was going on. It's not newsworthy when I say it. But when they do it, it's newsworthy. I've been telling you this shit for years. The shit that happened to me with unemployment, that's a scam. But it wasn't newsworthy. But I'm an idiot, according to some of these commenters. Don't get on my social media page trying to entrap with these fake comments. I don't like ghost comments. I don't like coward commenters. I don't like the disrespectful ass comments. I come at you real like I was talking to you face to fucking face. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I come at you real. How many people come at you real with shit? It's not many. I'm telling you real shit that's happening that you may not even know about. Like when I just disclosed that, that, that gang stalking shit. How many of you even knew that shit would existed? 
Some of you probably been going through and didn't even have a name for it. Gang stalking. You think they give a damn about that here in Michigan? But I'm the idiot, according to some of these commenters. That shit don't bother me. You calling me an idiot? That shows that you the idiot. Here I am, the whole time in my video about that DOT when they call the police on me. And I'm still pissed off about that motherfucking shit. You come out there because of a one mask, and then the next bus I get on, I find out from the driver in front of law enforcement that they were instructed not to get in an altercation with the passengers if they didn't want to ride, if they didn't want to wear a mask. Hey, let them ride. Don't, don't argue with them. Why didn't that driver that I got off of know that? I rode that next bus all the way home with no mask on. But that's what DOT do. They like to, they like to make you do shit. Like the one that was downtown. I got on the Grasher bus. Just riding it to the next stop. I'm standing up at the door. The driver tells me to sit down. I said, you can't tell me to sit down. Now y'all crossing the line. You talking to these passengers like you they motherfucking daddy. You can't tell a passenger to sit down. What the fuck mandate is supposed to make you sit down? If they want to stand up, I'm riding to the next stop. Why the hell I got to sit down? The next stop was as soon as he turned. Because I was going to Fishbone's restaurant. Really, it was two stops up, but I was getting off at the next stop. Why the fuck I got to sit down? And then I told him, I said, you ain't got no business telling me to sit down. These passengers don't like being told what the fuck to do on the bus. That's why they're not on the bus. And that federal mandate is stupid. Why are we on the bus riding with masks when we step off the bus? We don't have to wear the fucking mask. It's stupid. This is another way to be controlled. It's stupid. Now who the idiot? That's idiotic to have to put a mask on just to ride on the bus. Then when you get off the bus, you and the rest of the state mask lifted. You, you in a state that's mask lifted. You, can't, you ain't got to wear it no more. But you just got to wear it to ride on the bus. Now, Lyft and Uber, they still wearing masks. That's their prerogative. I'm tired of the masks. If I was in the cosmetic industry, you know, I'll be complaining about that. The cosmetic medicine industry should be taking a big hit now. Would you want to know why? Because they can't wear lipstick. They can't wear makeup. You can't wear your lip gloss. Because you got the mask on, especially if you ride the bus. They should be taking a big hit, but they should be seeing some profits return because now the state has listed, lifted the mask mandate. So you can wear lipstick and all that, but you can't on the bus. I would be complaining if I, if I was one of those manufacturers. You, you, you cutting into my business, my profit. You putting me out of business with this shit. You see what happened to the restaurants? They can't even get workers now. Why? Because they all sat at home collecting the unemployment. Now they don't want to go back to work. They got them big checks for unemployment and now they think they, they're entitled to them big checks and they refusing to go back to work. You can't get nobody to go back to work. They sitting at home collecting checks while I'm out here taking my ass to work every goddamn day dealing with a bus that don't want to show up. And then I hear about other people sitting at home not doing shit. When I got to take my ass out here and deal with a bus system that don't show up is late, disappears off the line, don't give a damn. And then I gotta get a commenter on my own YouTube calling me an idiot. You the idiot. Form an educated opinion, or educated comment when you get a comment to these videos. Now I just told you, you probably don't even live here, Alec Agnani. I'm not gonna tolerate the disrespect from anybody. I don't care what your race is. You not gonna disrespect me on my YouTube page. You either like the video or you don't. That was some foul shit that happened to me. They didn't have to do that. That driver didn't have to go that far. But that's DOT. That's what we're dealing with. But you're not going to call me an idiot about it because I posted a video about it. I post all kind of videos. Funny. Horrible. Crazy. Stupid. That's me. Keep your comments clean. Watch what you say. And watch what you're saying to me on my YouTube page.
This is my last time telling you. Dirty trucking out.